Hello all you fantastic people and welcome back to Omnicraft with Mr. Zurius. Today again we are in Witherwood because I want to show off a very fun community project that's going on at the moment. This is our community project donation area, as the sign says. Our current project is a PvP arena slash coliseum. The arena will be built Roman style with quartz pillars and quartz everything basically. And so what I've asked the people of the server and Witherwood to do is to donate quartz towards this project. Now I've already donated quite a bit of quartz myself, so now I'm going to check on how much we've got and see if we can build this arena. So let's check the first box. Okay, nothing in there. Kind of expected that to be honest, because it's all going to go down here, so I, I doubted everyone would fill up all the boxes. The next chest? Cobblestone. Okay, does that mean this chest is full? No, okay, that's, that's not good. That one's empty too, okay. Okay, okay, that's empty. Second last one? Oh god, that's empty as well. Come on, guys. I thought you were supposed to be donating. Okay, last box. Okay, 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 okay. okay. There's, there's some stuff in here. That's not terrible. Yeah, okay, we're going to need a lot more materials. But, not to worry. The Colosseum can be built later. Right now, we want to focus on the Fighter's Pit. So, I created the competition for the players on the server to design and build their own fighter's pits that would be used in the Colosseum. Now, what I don't think they realise yet is that I have gotten away with command blocks to enable me to change the fighter's arena from the press of a button of a command block. So essentially we're going to have our own level select for a Colosseum, which is it's just... It's, I, 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 yeah. You can hear me stumbling over myself, it's just, it's just so cool and I cannot wait to see it finished. But what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the competition area where the players have been building their designs for the competition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of these today and have a look at them and see what I think and see how I think they would fare in the competition and see how they are as an actual PvP arena. So let's start from the left, work our way down that way and then work our way back up the right. So here we have Titan King's build. Each side of the arena has an entrance. We've got one here and we'll have one at the other side. So it looks like Titan... Oh, hello, random tracer head. Looks like Titan's gone with a very symmetrical style, which is good, very good for a PvP arena. It's quite open though, so I imagine that people are going to either just run straight for this middle block and try and attack each other or hide behind it or use this as cover. But yeah, no, this is very open. I mean, I mean, this is the arena that you would want if you just want a straight up fight. Very nice. I do love the outer designs as well. Maybe some more variation in the blocks would be nice, but you can always change that later once we make the arenas properly if he wants. The next arena here. Wow, I really like the look of this arena. I, I haven't even looked at it yet and it's already absolutely amazing. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so I made more in the arena as well. So although that, I obviously I can't win the competition, but I thought I would build my own little thing to inspire others. I just wanted to have a little bit of fun and put something in here as well. People cannot vote for me to win, but I will be voting for other players. So I built this tree, which is meant to be sort of like a lookout post or a sniper tower. You can see both sides from it. There's ways up and down. Uh, like Titan Kings, mine is totally symmetrical with the hedges and the tree in the middle here. But I have a little bit of a secret here. If you open this and go down, there's a tunnel that connects both sides. Which leads to another little secret here, where you can climb up on top of the hedges and you get a really great position up here, but you're also very vulnerable to others. So yeah, I had a ton of fun building this and I can't wait to see people actually fighting on it. Next up we have Svensson399. I remember he said to me he was going to do this in like a, a four different biome sort of style, which definitely looks to be the case. Let's have a look around. So we've got a cave here. Oh, it goes down. Does it go... Oh wow, it goes really down. Oh cool, he's got like stalagmites and stalactites. Okay, so this cave is just um, just a dead end, isn't it? That's a bit worrying. You wouldn't want to get caught down here. Is that supposed to be guys? Is that like golems or something? That's really cool. I'm not really sure. Sven, if you're watching this, let me know what they are. Why is that block so dark? Hmm, weird. Around the back here. Oh, oh, I love this design. Sven, this is a fantastic design using these stairs as a little canal. I'm going to have to remember that. Sven, I would maybe consider adding some place to get up at the back here for the other team. It feels a little bit one-sided to be honest with you. 
I could be wrong though, we'll see how it works in play. Okay, the next one here, there's no sign, that's probably my fault. There you are, Wandering Doggo, add the sign that I forgot to add. Let's have a look at this one. So, some very nice cave landscaping here. But does Doggo know that this is going to be a PvP arena? That's what I wonder. Feels like he's just doing some really, really cool landscaping. Although maybe the intention is for people to run in and climb up here and fight each other on top of the mountains and inside the caves. Oh wow, this is tall. I don't know, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Oh, a pressure plate. Is that supposed to do something or is it just for decoration? Doesn't seem to do anything. I'm just waiting on the whole thing blowing up now with TNT. It's looking good, Doggo. Hopefully you get it finished before the competition ends. Next up we have Mortal Vortexes. Now I know already what this is. Um, he, he already told me what this is, but I'll let you guys figure it out. The following signs are for Mr. X's next vid. Will be removed. Alright, okay. This is Shrek's house. It has many things the others may not. Oh, he's trying to appeal to me in the audience. Okay, okay. In this arena, I've hidden five player heads from the server. They are Easter eggs. The Shrek head... Dragon... Is... What? The Shrek head... Dragon... Is... He's, and Pot. Dragon... Dragon Eyes? Is that what that's supposed to be saying? The Dragon Eyes and Pot. Don't... Can't... Is, is that saying continue? Oh, okay, Mortal, this is confusing. The heads are Last Night's, Peaks, Cheddars and Sasquatches. And Boinks. You can try to find them for your video. Oh! <laughs> he set up a little Easter egg hunt for me. I have a redstone sewer system from the outhouse to Mud Pond. Oh, wow, that's cool. It's a trap to escape it. It's a trap. To escape it, you open both ends before you enter. Okay, that's good to know. This is supposed to be squished because the back has parkour up to the chimney, castle and the dragon. Donkey is in sight. Donkey's in sight. <laughs> I hope you enjoy my build. I worked hard on it. Right, okay, well there you go. Oh, there's this. Punishment barrel. What's a punishment barrel? Well, I've already found one of the heads. I know that's last night. Oh, it's full of... Okay, let's just close that back over. So we won't go into the house first, but he said there's a secret here. Okay, there's a switch. Okay. I heard something. Something moved. Is there an entrance here? Okay, well he said there's one in the outhouse, which I assume is this. And then there's a mud pond? So maybe go around the back here. Okay, I'm assuming this is the mud pond. I think. Do I need to jump up these clouds? Oh, no, I'm not sure if I can do this. I'm not very good at parkour. Okay. Okay, yeah, I did it. So, is there another secret here somewhere? Do I have to keep going up the clouds? Oh, wait. Is that a switch there? Oh, wait, there's a switch right there. Derp. Okay. Oh, is that it? <gasps> I found it. Okay, okay, I'm in. Oh, I need to go all the way down. Oh no, <laughs> I feel like I'm on the drown. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, I can't drown, I'm actually I'm in creative mode right now. <laughs> okay, so, oh no. I know where I'm coming out. Ah. <laughs> ah. Wait, oh, that's what it does. It's just because the switch closed the door on me, I didn't see it. Ah, I understand. That is really cool. Okay, so we didn't find any heads down there, or at least I didn't see any, so we've still got four more to grab. So let's head on inside. <laughs> There's actually a donkey. <laughs> oh wow, well played, well played. Right, okay, hi donkey. Donkey! Ah, uh, well there's Shrek. What does the sign say? What are you doing in my swamp? Punishment barrel time. Punishment barrel time? Is this a version of Shrek I've not seen? What is this? Looks like another custom head, but I'm not really sure what it's supposed to be. Looks interesting though. Does that count? Is that one of the heads? No, that's not one of the heads. It has to be a player head. Can you be quiet please? Okay, so we've got Last Night and Shrek who's mortal. Um, is there any other switches or secrets in here? That's a nice big chair. Uh, oh, what's this? Psst. Hey, get out while you still can. There's someone in there. Oh, okay, hold on. Oh, there's somebody's head down there. I think that may be Peak. 
Or that maybe no, I think that's Boink. Oh, I'm not sure. Ah, I don't know. That's definitely one of them. Okay, so that's last night, mortal, and I think that's Boink. So that's three. Okay, let's keep exploring. Um, so obviously we have to climb this big tree, won't we? What's the best way up here? So it looks like these vines go all the way up. So let's go for that. I don't. Do I have to use the clouds? Oh wait, I forgot. We've got flight in this area. <laughs> I'm trying to climb up here and I forgot all about it. I suppose I should do it properly anyway to make sure that it actually works. Okay, that was a failure. I can do it again. Yeah, look at me go. Now I guess I'd go to that vine there from here. And then I'm up. Yeah, so what's in here? Wow. Lots of spider webs in here. You don't want to fall into that. In fact, you might actually get stuck forever if you fall into that, because the stuff in the arena won't be breakable. Ooh, we'll have to see how that works. Okay, now we've climbed up here, we're at the castle. Is there anything sneaky on the outside somewhere? That doesn't look like it. So what's inside the castle? Ladders. Okay. Ah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Here's the dragon. Oh my god, look at the, the eyes. Oh, that's what he meant by the sign. The eyes don't count. These eyes. <laughs> Wow, I, I mean, I've, I've totally forgotten that this is a PvP arena. I'm just really enjoying exploring this right now. Oh, is that someone's head? That is definitely someone's head. Haha, <laughs> found another one. Not sure who that is either. Ah! Because everyone always wears armor, you can't really get a good look at them. Right, I cannot find the last head. If someone else knows where it is or finds it, let me know in the comments, please, because I've looked everywhere and I can't find it. Unless it's this thing here, because this has to be a custom player head, but I don't actually think it's someone's head, I think it's just for Deku. Oh! Wait a second, there's someone's head! <laughs> oh, that was lucky, there we go, I found them all. I beat your challenge, mortal. I found all the heads. That is a fantastic build, that was a lot of fun just to look through. So, now we're on to the second column here, we've got Cheddar Cheese 23. Here's his arena. And I'm sure you can already tell, it's an underwater arena. I don't think I've ever fought another player underwater before. It'd be interesting to see how this works. I really like the design, it's really well done, and it does just look like an actual piece of the underwater ocean that's been cut out and placed on a block here. Can I go in here? Yeah, I can. Oh, okay. Yeet. <laughs> I wonder if that was another little Easter egg. Oh, come on. Go, 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 go. Hold on. Let's put... Put my boots back on. There we go. Do these open? Yeah, they do. Oh, wait. Some, oh, it says yeet again. Is, is this... See how many yeet signs you can find in the place? Yeah, it's a really awesome build. I can't wait to see people trying to fight in this. It'll be interesting. The next one is an arena by Last Night. And... Wow. I mean, it's just... It's just straight up a replication of the end, isn't it? Look at these Enderman heads and a dragon egg just sitting here. Oh, these look fantastic. Is that a shulker head? How did you get a shulker head? Well, that's lucky. Okay, let's climb up a tower and have a look. Yeah, so it's like a super... Oh, there's two entrances. That's a good idea. But yeah, it's like a super condensed version of the end tower. Although it seems to be much easier to get up. There we go, up to the top. And here... Is that a shulker? <laughs> Just actual shulkers here. Oh wow, this is really cool. It's like a mini version of the, the end towers that absolutely love this. I like what she's done with the void as well. I think this is just concrete powder. Whoops, didn't mean that. I'll just put that back. Nobody saw anything. Next up we have Boink the Duck. I saw this earlier and thought this was really, really cool. So Boink has made a mini nether fortress. How cool does that look? Look at this. I'm in the fortress. Nice little sniper tower up here, isn't it? Oh, we've got some magma blocks and... Is this... Oh, this is a little... Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, how do I get out of here? Um, okay. Help. That seems to be a bit of an instant death trap down there. That's a bit worrying. I think this is meant to be a mini water temple as well, just given the shape of it. Very cool. I really like the sort of miniature buildings we've got going on in this one. Oh, we've also got another mi mini end here. Is that an airship? Oh, hold on, we have to climb up. Can I climb up? So we've got another mini tower here. This is an even smaller tower than the one last night I had. This is cool. Climb up here and jump up. Yeah, I can get up there. That's no problem. I'm a parkour master. 
Although I can fly, I keep forgetting I can fly. <laughs> yeah, check this out, it's a little mini airship and they've actually put the dragon head here as well. That is cool. Is that... Oh wow, I didn't even notice that. How did I walk past it? We've got a mini end here where the dragon would be with the, with the egg and the obsidian pillars. Boink has managed to fit so many things into this one area, it's insane. Okay, not many more left. This is Sasquatch. I actually helped him a little bit with this one because he was having trouble with it. Mostly it's the lava because um, players were told they had to get their own resources and getting lava is not exactly an easy thing, so I, I helped him out a bit. Check this out though, this just looks like... Like, you know how when the hero has to like break into the castle and save the princess, like Dragon's Lair sort of thing, you have to go past all these obstacles? This is what this reminds me of. Although I don't think Dragon's Lair has something like this, but that's what it feels like. Wow, can you imagine fighting on this and someone just hits you with an arrow and you go straight into the lava? This is a dangerous one. I think Sasquatch is still working on this as well. Yeah, some of these bridges need more work, so yeah, he's still got, still got some work to do, but definitely a very cool one, and it'll be a very quick round on this if you hit someone with an arrow and they just go straight into the lava. So we've got Squippy's build over here, and I'm not really sure what to think of this as of yet, because I'm not sure if it's finished. These look like interesting pillars, but I'm not sure if there's more to be added here. We've got a sand wall here, which is pretty cool. Good structure to hide behind. Not a lot of stuff here. Oh, whoa. oh, the berries. Oh, I never even noticed those. Those are quite interesting. It's a very, very open arena. And, oh yeah, yeah, no, sorry. Squippy's not finished. So I, I should have known. But so far it's looking good. I love the little campfire we've got going on here and the little igloo. Igloo? No, that's not an igloo. It's a cave. What am I talking about? Is there something down here? There's a cactus here. What's this for? This feels a bit dangerous. Maybe Squippy's just using that to destroy some items. Yeah, I can definitely see the potential here, but we'll need to wait and see how it looks when it's finished. So what do you guys think? Was there a particular arena that stood out for you? If you were voting in the competition, which one would you vote for to win? I've got a couple of thoughts on who I might want to win, but I'll keep those to myself. Just look at all these fantastic arenas. Everyone's done such an amazing job and everyone's taken part and it's been such a fantastic experience to have everyone involved. I can't wait to do more stuff like this in the future for the server and for the players here. And if you guys want to be involved in that, check the description below. It has all the details of the Discord and the Omnicraft server if you want to join in on this. And we'll maybe see you there. But I think that's enough for one episode everyone. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this. I hope you liked all these builds and I hope you can show some support down in the comments for who you liked. And maybe they'll win themselves a nice little prize or two. This is Mr. Zurius, this is Omnicraft, I hope you enjoyed it, have a good one.